In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a second x scale here above, but the value of this x scale is different than compared to what we have here at the bottom. So let's start to look how we can do this. So let's start to look how we can add up a second x scale in Chart.js. First thing that we need is our default uh, border template, which you can find on Chart.js3.com, getting started, this specific link here, which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code here. Let's make sure we start at the beginning. Scroll down and copy all of this. If you want to understand what this code all does, make sure you watch this video here that explains it all. So then I'm going to paste that in here. I'll cut out the title and put the title in here. Save, refresh. All right, so now we have this here. And what we eventually want to do is, for example, we want to put in here on top another value. So what I'm going to do here, just at the bottom, in here, we will say here, comma and then we can say for example here x number two which would be the second x scale so what i want to do here is i want to make sure that this has a position of top because we already have the bottom covered as you can see here if i save this right now and refresh what will happen it will assume that our first x scale will be on top which is not what i want i want the monday to be down but on top i want to have like numbers of course what it would be you have to figure out yourself a logical structure but i'll just make here a basic structure here and all i will say here is that the x value is the standard structure that we have and we can leave that like that the position by default is always at the bottom and what we can do here we'll say type equals linear it should be a default item as well so if i save the refresh you can see here now what we have it starts to look nice and I realize that maybe we need to copy this put it in here comma save refresh all right so now we have here basically two values and this should maybe be our category there we are so now as you can see here below we have the category axis and above we have the linear so what is the difference between category and linear well the category axis will grab the values at the bottom which is basically the defined values that we have here in the labels but of course if it's a linear it will be considered like a scatter chart structure in that case we have numbers at the very top what i want to do here now is just to remove the grids and then it should look quite decent so as a comma and i want to say here a uh, grid and we say here display equals false save that refresh and as you can see here now we're starting to have a structure however maybe you might say well these numbers here from 0 to, to 1.0 has no meaning for you which could be correct so let's start to give it some other value here so we could say here minimum let me just put in here let's say 10 comma and max might be 100 for example if i save this refresh you can see here now the lines are being or the values on the x scale here will be shown accordingly with whatever we have set and of course we can do a lot more on this part but this is one of the most important ones if we want to have for example this as a value we want to make sure that this all works well let me show you in that case we can say your linear let's do that one save refresh now the bar is not showing and the reason why the bar is not showing because it's confused remember it's supposed to be a uh, category structure which would mean we will get the values of the labels now it doesn't exist anymore so these labels are just or don't have any value anymore it's now a number so how do we solve this well basically this can be con considered as a floating bar what we're going to do here is we're going to put in here enter and then what we can say here well maybe we can put it like this we say x value will be number 18 comma and we can say here the y and the y should be uh, sorry this should be normally 18 and then the y could be uh, 18 and then the x should be number one or zero or what's the value here in this case we have to look at what's the value here if i say one it will probably be matched with this here so what we can do here first of all let's do that put a bracket here comma save this and then refresh as you can see here now it's starting to restructure itself like this 
So what we could do here is another item. Let's put a comma here and grab this. Alright, so we have seven items again. And then put multiple commas. And then what we could do here is number two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And basically now we get these starting points here. And that's basically the structuring of adding up a second scale on the X level, or we could even do it on the Y level, although those will be far easier to do and more logical. But of course, they should be aligned with the other side here. However, with this, we could do all these kind of structures and we could maybe reduce the amount of ticks here because right now you can see here the amount of ticks should, should be matching maybe with the structure here. Anyway, that is uh, probably a deeper topic. I will consider to make however this is the way how we can do a 2x scale where we have different values at the top compared to the bottom so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to also figure out how we can do the same here basically on the y scales for example with percentages in that case i'm going to recommend you one of the my more preferred topics is this one here is how to create a pareto chart or pareto chart in chart.js where we have one value here on the y scale and the other side we have the percentage of it and this is a very event an interesting topic to consider